Did you know that North Carolina public schools are paid $10,000 per year per student that they receive at schools? This means that over the span of 12 years of education from kindergarten to 12th grade, you would have given this public institution $120,000. Has your school prepared you to be competitive in college, a career, or in a business to survive? After your 12 years of learning, do you feel like your $120,000 investment was spent in the best way? Recent statistics show that only 29% of students in North Carolina are college and career ready, and only 38% of first graders are at their proficiency level in reading. In South Carolina, 64% of students are under their proficiency in reading. These statistics obviously presents a problem. Somewhere over the dispensation of time, the essence of education has been lost. The meaning of it has been lost. Instead of students flourishing in their education and having a great, fun educational experience, students have become to dread and loathe going to school. With proficiency and scores this low, it begs to ask the question, do these institutions care about the students or is this a money grab? Why are students not prepared to go out in this world and flourish and thrive? There are many problems in the educational system, but we need to figure out what are some of those solutions. With over 10 years of educational experience in the public education system, I have been able to see what works and also what are some of the problems that contribute to these flaws within the education. I've seen educators being scrutinized and pressured. I've seen students being neglected and ignored. And irregardless of the numerous licenses and certifications I have received and still currently hold, programs and experiences I have contributed to the school I worked at, countless programs and events that I have been blessed to experience with a great body of students and educators, I too, at the end of my career, was left holding the bag. And believe me, I wasn't the only educator that had a true, genuine love for what I did and had a genuine care for the students. So the question begs to ask, how does a educator with that much passion would have been optimized for the improvement of the institution as a whole? I just boil it down to, I just had another purpose. I'm a regular person, just like you. I have humble beginnings and I have dreams and aspirations. And this is the purpose of this campaign to create a learning center and educational institution that will enhance different age groups to expand on their dreams. Before I go into more detail about the campaign, I'd like to transition to make this solid point. This young man out of Wilmington, North Carolina was able to set the whole NBA on fire. This one man helped Nike earn up to $32 billion net worth. That means Nike earns $3 million every five hours. So why aren't there more students going into the shoe manufacturing industry? After all, there are only 924 shoe and footwear manufacturers in the US. Unfortunately, only 3.3% of African Americans are engineers and you need graphics design, creativity, and general engineering knowledge to enter these fields. By the end of this week, this will be the first inception of CLO Design's very first shoe using traditional skills in entry-level manufacturing. There are companies that are turning these plastic bags you would normally recycle or throw away into shoes and other tangible products. To process a bottle like this into a material that can be used for a 3D printer. To take raw materials like this that would normally either be thrown away or broken down into compost into something that is a usable item for furniture and many other things. Even down to creating custom power stations designed with 3D printing and CNC to also accept drill batteries to power your devices in your home. Or using 3D printing to manufacturing shoe parts such as this shoe sole. All this can be done with the right inward determination, the right education, and the right opportunities. And that's what this campaign is all about to create a facility where people can come and learn and create. Raising money for a building, 
just like this one. Going for a steel building like this will be economical, more affordable, and something that a small crew can build. In a building like this, each panel is bolted in and laid on one at a time. I graduated from one of the most prestigious graphic design programs in Eastern North Carolina. And all those skills, along with the individual skills I learned on my own, I would like to share with the world. Building like this will be a start, enough room for a maker space, also a small shop and a classroom, and a small YouTube studio. But this is a perfect size, economical, affordable, and also repeatable. So this is the size we're going with. According to NCDPI, only 27% of kindergartners can read at a proficient level and first graders can only read at a 38% proficiency level. And in South Carolina, 64% of third graders and under are under their standard in proficiency reading. That's why I knew it was important for me to start my own publications and that's part of a program I want to bring to the Education Academy. With the inception of CLO Education TV, I have been able to create a myriad of projects using raw materials, recycled and repurposed materials, everything from graphic design to welding and fabrication to 3D modeling and 3D printing all have been done. This model is meant to be repeatable, sustainable and affordable. I understand what it's like to get things out of the mud, to come from ground up and build something from nothing. I'm just a regular person just like you out there and the way that the world is evolving as far as models of making revenue, the creative tools that we have and the price points that they're available for, things evolve over time. In the first year of running the Learning Center Academy, we will heavily be focused on recycling, upcycling, engineering and graphic design. If you would like to support this campaign, there are four ways to do it. The first way is to drop a donation right here on this site. The second way is if you are a grant writer or if you have access to grants for uh, organizations recycling and also creative works and design, drop a link in the email and we can accept donations that way. The third way you can do it is buy merch or support the ongoing YouTube channels that we have, CLO Education TV or CLO Pixar Gamers and subscribe and support that way. The fourth way you can support this campaign is if you have equipment, tables, chairs, desks, anything like that that you would like to donate, once the campaign ends, we will be accepting those type of donations. We will also have handmade and recycled products that you can purchase on our main store. But thank you so much for tuning in on this campaign, and if you can share it with somebody, share it out. Have a great day, and take care.